On this day, Lori and I traveled in Honolulu so that we could watch the new Spider-Man movie. The theater that it was at had a lot of food and snacks related to movie showing. So this was The Little Mermaid and then for Spider-Man. We also got a hot dog and nachos. And look at these nachos. They were the weirdest thing I've ever seen. I don't know what that white stuff is. And the cheese was so bad. And they weren't pickled jalapenos. They were just jalapenos. They hurt my heart. The hot dog was normal. We got the drink that was Spider-Man related. The red one was alcoholic, sadly. While we were waiting for the movie to start, we went to Dave & Buster's because I felt like it. Before the movie actually started, they had this little ad to encourage people to watch out for pedestrians more. And this was hilarious because that's why I almost got hit by a car. And I was like, wow, more people should see this, but it wouldn't matter anyway because people here suck at seeing pedestrians. So... Hope it works. The movie was amazing. 10 out of 10. Hated it so bad. Hate everything. Loved the movie. Would recommend. Everyone should go see it and then talk to me about how much they also hate it. On one of my days exploring alone, I found an H Mart, which I'd never heard about before, and it was really nice and it had affordable fruit and just random things, and it was like really cute, but what surprised me the most was that upstairs they had cafes and different restaurants and like a whole food court, and it was just this random building with like a little grocery store at the bottom and a whole food court up top. I tried out a couple of the things at different uh, stalls there that you'll see in a little bit but it was just really cute and just in the middle of a neighborhood these were mochi donuts and I ended up getting the banana one later I also ended up getting a tea with lychee jelly in it also I found out that here in Hawaii everybody says lychee lychee and that's the wrong way and everybody keeps trying to correct me and I'm right and I even googled it it's a Chinese word I'm right anyway this was a bar and you could just get beer on tap from out of the wall. I thought this was a funny pun. I ended up getting chicken from here. It was really good. I ate that along with the donut and the tea. It was really affordable for Hawaii prices especially and I ended up not even finishing all the chicken. On this day, Lori and I decided that we were going to go to take some pictures somewhere called Secret Island, which is where some movie called 51st Dates was. I thought it was a dating show. It's not. I thought the mountain with the little lake and the stone wall was really cute, so I wanted to take a video of it, and Lori was, like, there, I guess. This tree? Just look at it. Look at this tree. This is a great tree. It makes me think of a peacock. I don't know, but I want you to appreciate this tree, because it's so nice. <laughs> Anyway, Lori made me spin around a bunch of times. These leaves looked kind of pretty, but don't forget about how pretty that other tree was, okay? Smile! Wave! Horrible model, not following any instructions. I was actually in a tree in that last video. I decided to climb one in my nice fancy dress. It did not rip, thankfully not well thought through. This was afterwards and I was just sitting on the ground while Lori took some pictures. Grandma and a grandpa and then there's a, ma a mom and a dad and their oldest kid and they're watching the two twins play. Or it's two parents and two kids coming up to the parent with the other kid to ask if they can play. Either are options. This just looked vaguely unnatural and I don't know what to think of it. On a little tree. Them is four sides leaves. That's what them is. 
take off your shoes and run across the path. This was the beach we ended up taking pictures at. It had three docks and we wanted to take pictures in the middle one, but there was a bridal party taking pictures when we got there, so we had to wait. From a distance it looked like this was a tree with white flowers but it turns out they were birds and I just thought it was really cute so I wanted to show it to you. You can only tell when they flap their wings. There were also fish all over in this water. There's some little minnows if you can see them. We kept hearing a loud splashing and at first I thought somebody was swimming but there was just no swimming in this part of the water so we end up deciding it was just fish but we never ended up seeing any of the big fish and they were really loud splashes. I think that the clouds right there look like two whales swimming together. The path it took to take here was a very cute and aesthetic path on the way there, but we left after the sun went down and so it became very creepy and scary very quickly. So I ended up calling Amanda the entire way back to the bus stop for like safety reasons. It ended up being fine. This day I decided I wanted to go into Honolulu to get my hair trimmed and I saw this cute shop. I didn't get to go in because it was closed that day, but I also saw this one and they sold different like cute pet toys and it was right next to a cat cafe where you can like adopt cats from them. Both of these were also closed so apparently I just came the worst day. But I did find this coffee shop that was open and it was really cute and it had really good loose leaf tea. They also sold like wine and chocolate, but the tea that they had, they like listed where it was from, the notes that were going to be in the tea, and I asked about their steeping methods because some places just do it wrong, and they did it right, and it was really good tea. I also ended up getting a cookie from there that you'll see in a little bit, and it was honestly just way too salty. Like, it was not a very good cookie just because there was too much salt on top, but the tea was delicious. This area also had lots of these little seating areas where it was made with bricks that were painted, and then I had extra time so I went to another coffee shop and it had the worst coffee ever. It was legitimately so bad I took two sips and trashed it, and when I went to get my hair trimmed I mentioned it to the person doing my hair and she knew exactly where I went before I even told her the name. The restaurant right next to it though had this sweet little thing for the homeless people or just anyone who needs food and I thought that was really sweet of them. This was a gelato shop I stopped by after getting my hair trimmed and it was really cute, a little bit expensive so I just got one scoop. And there was a guy outside and he was like hey can you get me some ice and I was like why don't you just get your own ice and he's like they won't let me in there and I was like mmm that's concerning I don't know if I should get you ice but I did anyway and then he was like this isn't enough ice and I was like I'm not I'm not doing this more with you sir I'm sorry. That last clip was from an escape room that I ended up going to by myself, and then this was the day we went to pick up Penelope, and we stopped by this coffee shop first, because we had plenty of time beforehand. This was where I sat when I waited for Lori. Hi! Oh my goodness, hey guys! Hey guys! My face started going oh, down! No. Oh no! This was Penelope and I's first solo day. Lori and I both had to work while she was down, so we took turns. Whoever was off got to have a day with her. This was just where I got a drink from. It was okay. But it had a cute little mascot, and then Penelope and I both got food from this one stall I hadn't seen before, and we explored around the mall. The Dior shop changed its color to pink, and I don't like it. It's not pretty. I liked the blue more. It looked like fine china. This looks gross. I don't like it at all. Some brands can like request designs from there or like, like this bear is from something. I decided to introduce Penelope to the wonderful world that is Uniqlo, and they had Detective Conan shirts. Like you never see stuff for Detective Conan in America, so I bought something even though it was white that one right there i bought it the mall also had this cute new little display and we ended up taking pictures there i just don't have any of them on my camcorder but it was really cute i really liked it, it was pretty from both sides which i appreciate from them 
people would stop by and take pictures there. I thought this person was cute sitting in the H instead of the O, but Penelope thought that some of the flowers were real and some were fake, so I wanted to get a closer look just to show that they are in fact all fake. Otherwise, that would take a lot of replacing. Uh, I took Penelope to the candy store and she liked all the little Sour Patch guys. This was some um, beauty store, I don't remember, but I thought the medallion was cute. Another day, Penelope and I decided to go to a different mall, and we saw a pet store, and we went in, and there was a lady selling baby chameleons, and the store just sold chameleons, but still. This was at a different store, but Penelope thought these were cute, and they have little lays. Penelope thought it was amazing that there were cows in Hawaii. She was even like, it's a Hawaii cow, and there were two cows, and she thought it was crazy. We saw horses later, and she was less impressed by that for some reason. But on this day, we went to the Sea Life Park, which wasn't very far from us, but it took so long to get there. And we had so many annoying bus stops where we had to wait half an hour in the burning hot sun. I have nothing good to say about the following clips, so you get the humorous version that Lori wants me to do. Oh my gosh, it's sharks. Look at the sharks. Oh wait, they're not real sharks. Oh, but the sharks. Oh look, there's rocks. There's a window. What's through the window? Water. Oh my gosh, it's oh, there's a fish. Oh, that's not a fish. That's a shark. But you know what there are with the sharks? There's fish. I bet you wouldn't guess that there's actually more sharks in this water, but there was another shark? What? But like, I was gonna go down so that I could like get away from the sharks and you wouldn't believe what like showed up through the window. It was actually a shark. But then there was another shark and then I was like, okay, I guess I'm getting used to it. But then there was just a fish and I was like, I can't do this anymore. That's so funny. Oh, he heard me. He's mad now. 
To make it worse, I tried to find Nemo, but all of them had three stripes. And like, that's how you're supposed to differentiate him. You're supposed to look for the one with three stripes. And all of them had three stripes. Like, look at this guy. Is that Nemo? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. He looks a little grumpy. Maybe he's a little bit upset today, but I remember Nemo being happy. Then I found a bunch of Dories, and there's like no differentiating Dory, so... Anyway, here's an actually really cute clip of a shark that I have. I thought this one was pretty. This shark had a creepy eye, which you can't really see in the video very well, but Penelope was like, man, this guy's kind of creepy. And I was like, I agree, you are a creepy shark. So, poor man. It's less cool when you don't see them in the wild. Hello, why are you so sad? There were dolphins in here that would kind of pop up and like show off, but only if there were like a number of people watching. And when it was just Penelope and I, they just stayed underwater and then a family came by and then suddenly they wanted to be all like pretty and dramatic. So after we saw the birds, we also got to see some penguins. They were honestly super boring. She was feeding them and answering questions, but it was boring. They had this habitat where just wild birds could come, and this was the only one we saw. He had a funny beak. I do, but there's no place to put them. Oh, it's at the top. The... You should give me a quarter. You should give me, you should give me a quarter. we got to find out how much I weigh according to this old-time Victorian scale. Please, mommy, do you have a quarter? Mommy? Please, I'm mommy. Struggling. Everything is sticky and hot. If it doesn't work, then you owe me 25 cents. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure you charged me 75 cents for um, a oh postcard I didn't have earlier. Um we also saw sea lions at this completely empty exhibit with like seats, and there was just nobody here. So that was interesting. This was the prettiest clip I got of them. We ended up watching a dolphin show, and I just thought it was cute watching the trainers interact with the dolphins before the show started. The show was pretty interesting. They ended up saying that they had a dolphin that was a mix between a killer whale and a bottlenose. Just to explain, at this point, the trainer jumped in the water and she was under the water for like a hot minute. And I was like, where did she go? And then there she was. And she ended up doing a bunch of tricks with the dolphins and it was really cute. But yeah, I was like, she was gone for just a little bit too long for my liking.
It's like a home video. Say something stupid. Stephanie. Penelope, say something. <laughs>